way too many people are in a rut. A rut is a grave with the ends kicked out. Are you in a rut? You just go through the motions, you get up, you go to work, do your job, come home, but you don't really have any love, any passion for what you're doing anymore when you used to. Is that how you feel? And do you find that you're, in order to cope with that feeling, you're turning to other things like you're drinking too much, you're using drugs, illegal drugs, perhaps you're eating too much, perhaps you're gambling. A lot of people turn to alcohol, drugs, food, and gambling. These are epidemics in our society today. Well, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist, so let me say this. If you have an alcohol abuse problem, a drug abuse problem, if you have an eating disorder, if you've got a gambling addiction, you need to get professional help for that. Know that you're not alone. There are lots of people just like you and me who have dealt and are dealing with these types of things every single day and they've done so successfully. So get help. But I want to give you a suggestion for something else you can also do right now yourself to start moving out of the rut you're in. What I want you to do is get a piece of paper and draw a line down the center and on the left hand side write down seven to ten things that you value. Okay, Is it family, spirituality, money, work, contributing to society, whatever it is, write down seven to ten things that are of high value to you personally. That's on the left hand side. On the right hand side then write down a vision for yourself for the future just 12 months out. You don't need a three-year or a five-year vision so ignore what everybody's telling you about writing out a five-year vision for yourself because if you don't even have a one-year vision how can you possibly think about writing out a five-year vision? It's ridiculous. So write down a vision for yourself 12 months out. Where would you like to be? What would you like to be doing? How would you like to be feeling? What would you like to see, feel, and hear 12 months from now that would make you feel happy and satisfied and like you're creating an impact in your own life and in the lives of others? Now, once you have that written down, you've got your values, you've got your vision for 12 months out. You've got to make sure you've got to compare your values to your vision. Are your values and your vision harmonious? In other words, are there things that you say you value, but pursuing this vision is going to ignore those things you value. As an example, if you say you value your family life, but in your vision you've written down that you want to be the CEO of your own company and you want to make you know millions of dollars and you want to expand globally, what is that going to require? It's going to require working long, long hours and probably doing a lot of traveling. Well, if you value family life, how can you possibly think that pursuing that type of vision for yourself is going to make you happy? It's not. You're going to end up feeling like you're in a rut again, like you are right now. Remember, a rut is just a grave with the ends kicked out. Once you've got your values and your vision in harmony with one another, then you can start putting together a plan to walk yourself step by step out of that rut. So again, as I said, if you've got alcohol addiction, drug addiction, gambling addiction, if you're abusing food, you may need to get professional help for that. I'm not a doctor, psychologist, or therapist. But you can take steps right now. After you're finished watching this video, you can take steps to start moving yourself out of the rut you're in. In addition, on October 31st, my wife Carol and I will be in Toronto. We're going to be conducting a one-day workshop in Toronto, 123 Front Street at Breather from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And one of the things we're going to work with you on is helping you get out of a rut if that's something that you feel that you're in. Of course, we're going to be doing other things in that workshop. It's called Creating Maximum Impact, and it's how to uh, really achieve success in your business, personal life, and entrepreneurial endeavors so you can be happy and joyful in what you're doing. And we really want to encourage you to come and join us. There'll be more details on that workshop soon and I'll let you know as soon as I have them ready. So have a great day. Do that little exercise. I wish you all the success you can handle and I wish you all the best.